in schools, libraries, maybe even in your home. 3D printers are becoming more and more popular. But as CBS 2's Marissa Bailey found out, some experts worry we don't know above enough about them yet and fear they could put our health at risk. I tend to sit right next to it. I like to keep an eye on what I'm making. Shoemaker Annie Mohop makes ribbon holding nubs for flip flops with her 3D printer. I've thought a little bit about what it might be exposing us to. People should be worried about using some of these printer makes and models and filament combinations. In this new study, researchers at the Illinois Institute of Technology tested 16 different combinations and found high levels of ultra fine particles and gases emitted from half of those studied. They emitted anywhere between about 200 million and 200 billion tiny particles per minute. Those particles can trigger and aggravate respiratory conditions. When we breathe them in, they can penetrate deep into our lungs, they can cause irritation. Uh, they can also penetrate to our brain via our olfactory nerve. The worst, a printer that used this nylon filament. It emitted the highest levels of caprolactam, which according to the Environmental Protection Agency, can cause neurologic, stomach, and heart conditions. Two printers using ABS filaments emitted high levels of styrene, which could cause cancer. How bad would you say 3D printers are for the health of people? I think today they're not bad. It's a new technology. Uh, chronically could be pretty bad. Dr. Peter Orris, an environmental health expert at UIC, urges people, including libraries and schools, using 3D printers to operate them in a well-ventilated space with an exhaust system. Study author Brent Stevens has some other advice. Try using filaments with PLA, which emit fewer toxins. And if you haven't bought a printer just yet, look for one that's more enclosed with internal filters. Mohop already takes some precautions, including a less toxic filament to make her designs. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm not shortening my life too much. Marissa Bailey, CBS 2 News. Brent Stevens says he would like to see emission labeling on printers and filaments so you know the risk when you're buying those products. The National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health funded his study.